We turn now to Georgetown, where the police department is operating with one single officer right now. Georgetown still feeling the ripple effect. This following the shooting death of Christian Glass, the young man who was suffering a mental health crisis and called for help. A former deputy shot and killed him, and now two more officers charged in his death have resigned from Georgetown Police. Nine News reporter Lawrence Cafiti talked to the county administrator today about how they plan to go forward in light of this. The town administrator wants to make it clear, even though Georgetown is down to just one police officer, the community is still protected by the sheriff's office and Idaho Springs Police. As for those two officers who just resigned, we confirmed Officer Randy Williams resigned February 5th, Officer Timothy Collins on the 12th. The town administrator says they both signed a non-disclosure agreement. He says both were voluntary and not because of anything else, but it is important to note that they were both charged in Christian Glass's death. The town administrator says Georgetown is looking to fully staff the police department as soon as possible. That means four people. Right now, they have an acting marshal and an administrative assistant. We want to have good presence. We want to have public trust. We want to make sure that the community um, is protected and that they, we have the same mentality that we've always done is we have presence in the community and we want our community to feel safe. Georgetown was just approved to work with their recruiting company to find their new marshal. The town administrator says that hire will come first and then they'll fill that last officer role. So this could take how long? They're hoping it'll take three to six months, but there's no telling for sure. All right, thank you, Lauren.